hey guys so welcome back to this series in the previous videos we've been able to set up our recycler view save data to firebase and retrieve our data from firebase and also we are able to bind the data that we retrieve from firebase to our recycler view okay. but in this particular class we'll be focusing on deleting items from recycler view so this is actually one particular process you don't want to skip because sometimes you might want to add sub views to your recycler view and you actually need a way to be able to attach click event handlers to your sub views so this particular class will be able to explain all of that so without wasting much time let's jump right into it so now let's head over to alumni adapter okay so what visual studio has done is to give us a heads up or a direction of how to implement click event handlers on our sub views when I, mean, when I say sub views, I mean other buttons that you have on your recycler view row that you might want to click to perform an action. For instance, we want to have an action that when we click on the delete icon that we have on each of the rows, it will delete that particular row from our recycler view. So now all we need to do will be to follow the same process, okay? But I'm going to have to provide some explanations to what they're actually doing here. So being able to attach click event handlers to our sub views, we need us to go through four steps. First would be to create a public event handler in our main class, which is exactly what we see here. That's the first step. So the second step would be to create a delegate method to invoke the event handler we just created. Example of that is this, okay? So this delegate method is actually pointing to this item click event handler. If you're familiar with C Sharp, you already know delegates, and you know that delegates are nothing more than pointers, okay? They point to other methods, and also they can be passed as parameters to other methods, okay? Now, the third step would be to pass the delegate method as a parameter to our adapter view holder. Example of that is what we have here. So we are passing the onclick delegate to our alumni adapter view holder. And the last step would be to implement the delegate method in our adapter view holder. Example of that is what we have here. You can see that we implemented a click listener because we passed the on click delegate and we're actually expecting it here as an action. Okay, and this is where we implemented that. So now without wasting much time, let's go ahead and do the same thing for our delete button. So as the process indicates, the first thing we need to do would be to define our public event. We're going to call this event delete item click. So this new event handler we just created is of the type of alumni adapter click event acts. So this event handler type was created for us by default by Visual Studio. As you can see, this is the class here. We have two fields, the view and our position. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do will be to define our delegate method. So I'm going to come here and say, I'm going to point this delegate method to our delete item click event handler. So now the next thing we need to do will be to pass this delegate method to our alumni adapter view holder. So to do that, I'm going to go to where I initialize my adapter view holder class, which is here. So I'm going to write on delete click. So currently this is going to give us an error because we've not defined this parameter in our alumni adapter view holder constructor. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So at this point, I'm gonna put a comma and say action. And I'm going to call this delete click listener. Boom. So now that we have this, this error will certainly be resolved. As you can see, we can see that again. Now the last part will be to go ahead and implement this delegate method here. So to be able to finalize the whole process, I'm gonna first of all say delete button, which is this button we have here, dot click. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say plus equal to. So instead of creating an event handler block, I'm gonna go ahead and make use of a lambda expression. So this lambda expression, we implement the delegate method that we just passed to this class, okay? So I'm going to use it to implement our delete click listener. Boom. Here we're going to say new alumni adapter click event handler. And our view will be equal to item view and position will be equal to adapter position. So that's all we need to do. Very simple, right? Now let's head back to our main activity and finish up. 
So in our main activity, we will need to implement the event handler that we created. That's the delete item click. So we're going to go to where we initialized our adapter. So this is, the, which is this point. So I'm going to say adapter.delete item click. So I'm going to go ahead and implement this event handler. Boom. So this is where we're actually going to write the code that will delete the item from our list. So the first thing we need to do will be to retrieve the key of the item that we want to delete. And to do that, I'm going to say string key equal to alumni list. So this statement will retrieve the ID or the key of the item that we just clicked on. So the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and delete this item from our Firebase database. And after which we will refresh our recycler view. So to be able to do that, I'm going to go to my alumni listener and I'm going to create a new method that will actually delete the item from the database. So I'm going to make a new method, a new public method actually. I'm going to call it delete alumni. So now we have a method, but we need to pass in the key of the item that we want to delete. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new argument here so that we'll be expecting this key as we are calling this method. So now let's go ahead and delete the item. So the first thing will be to define a database reference to the item that we want to delete. And the reference to this item will be alumni slash plus key. So this will be the reference to our item. And I'm going to go ahead and say reference dot remove value. Boom. So this will go ahead and delete this item from our Firebase database. Now we need to go back to our main activity and call this method. So in our main activity, we first of all need to pop up a dialog to ask the user if you really want to delete this alumni from the database. So I'm going to go ahead and define a new alert dialog builder. Now I'm going to call this dialog builder delete alumni. And this should be equal to new dialog builder. I'm going to pass it my contest, which is this. So next thing will be to set the title of our dialog. The title will be delete alumni. And the next will be to set the message. And the message will read, are you sure? So this is just to confirm whether you're really, really sure. If you have Mark Zuckerberg on your database, why do you want to delete him? So we kind of need to confirm, right? So the next will be to set a positive button. So let's say you want to really continue. So the next thing we need to do will be to attach an event listener to this positive button. But we're going to make use of Lambda expressions, okay? So I'm going to say delete a lot as our object. So this would do. So if I actually want to delete the item, I'm going to go ahead and say alumni listener dot delete alumni. And we're going to go ahead and pass it our key. Boom. So this will delete this alumni from the database. So let's say paraventure when this dialog pumps up, we don't want to delete our user anymore. So we just have to go ahead and dispose the dialog. So to do that, I'm going to set a negative button. I'm going to go ahead and dispose this. Boom. And finally, I'm going to say delete alumni dot show. So this is all we need to do. So now to verify that everything works just the way we planned it, we're going to go ahead and run our app. So our app is deploying. Okay. Boom. So this is our data, right? So what I'm going to do will be to go ahead and click on delete. It's asking me whether I want to delete this alumni. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Boom. So as you can see, we just deleted Ben Johnson from our database. So I'm going to pull up our Firebase database so that we can see it disappear from the database. Okay. So this is our Firebase database. So I'm going to pull up my app as well. So now we currently have just two items in the database. So I'm going to go ahead and delete Anthony Mark. So yes, I'm really sure I want to delete Anthony Mark. Boom. Anthony Mark vanishes. So guys, this is exactly what we want to achieve in this class. I hope you've learned something really useful. So in the next class, we are going to be learning how to perform search using Link. So be sure to stay tuned to this series as I bring you more exciting things. If you really like this video and you've learned something really useful, 
please give a thumbs up and if you yet to subscribe to this channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so that you can always get notified whenever i make this kind of videos so guys stay tuned see you soon